Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you Robot in Three Hours in Minecraft. Bum ba da bum. Bum ba da bum. Alright, everyone. Me and my friend KSI Mercy here, also Austin, uh, decided to build a, our 2014 concept robot in Minecraft. And uh, let me tell you, this was a lot of fun. So, what do we have here? We have our ball pickup mechanism where our rollers, which come out with our piston, this is our lovely piston mechanism here, and our rolling system shown with our black axles and our slabs being belts. Uh, we also have the intake, and don't mind the bumpers, the bumpers are a little high in the front, we're going to figure that out, but uh, the balls would roll in, and this is our catapult, and our catapult is driven off of this axle here with two pistons at the bottom corners, so when our ball is in here, they'll get flung up into our arch, which will be set at the right angle to the wall eventually. Uh, uh, what will happen is this robot is designed to drive up to the wall, fling the ball in, and then keep driving forward. So the robot typically only has to stay in one direction. Now, with this open concept, you can definitely toss in balls from over the rail, as, uh, as well as um, probably feed other robots too as well with the front. So what we have here, we have our layout. Everything is to scale. So <laughs> it is. Everything, everything is to scale. Every block is considered one inch. So we have a 29 by 29 inch frame. Uh, I didn't read the game specs. Hopefully that lines up just fine. Um, Austin went ahead and uh, did Tom Dolan proud and made a belly pan. So it looks really cool. We have a, a tread drive here. So there's our treads. Uh, very reliable system. And so represented by two sim motors here with our tough box going in, driving our six-wheel drivetrain, excuse me, three on one side, and three on the other. We also incorporate, incorporated our pneumatic system. So here are our pneumatic um, air accumulators right here, and our pump right next to it. And all the green line shows you the pneumatics uh, going to its uh, corresponding areas. So we have ours for the roller system in and out. So we just bring it in, bring it out, pretty simple. And then we also have our pistons here for our launching system. Now, this could be off a little bit. Meanwhile, this axle might have to go higher or not, but we wanted to just show you the concept. We have our battery mount. We'll see the light in a second, Austin. <laughs> we have our battery here going to our circuit breaker, which is very large, um, and then going to our distribution block, which is underneath our catapult. So um, this thing comes fully loaded with a... It comes fully loaded with the D-Link and our c Rio here, and also our uh, referee blinking light. Check it out. It's official, baby. You can put this on the field. <laughs> so, it's raining. We need to sleep. Let's sleep real quick. Everybody find a bed. Oh, the beds, the beds have been... All right, put the beds back down real quick. We need beds. Okay, beds are down. We're going to take a quick snooze and uh, take, take a picture from the back so we can see it from a distance and uh, just kind of, uh, you know, show what the idea was going forward in building this. I mean, we want to make something that was a passive device, a passive machine where you could drive into your pickup balls um, and it would draw them into the machine and then your catapult would just shoot them out. So now some things may be not to scale that we need to work on, such as the catapult here and some type of final design. Uh, Austin's saying check out the D-Link. Austin, the D-Link looks good. Looks good from here. The bumpers, I don't know if they're regulation. They might not be. Five inches, four inches? Uh, no, they're definitely not. It's supposed to be four, I think. So, But um, we have uh, our glowstone axles. <laughs> um so yeah, this video is way longer than I intended it to be, so we're going to end this here. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye.